OK. Now, we're going to do the following. Don't erase any of this, but go to the y equals key. I want everything to be gone from there, OK? You need to have what I have here, which is nothing typed in. So if it is, hit the clear key. That will make everything go away. Now, if this is how you see your y equals screen, with nothing written there, I'm pointing instead of moving the cursor so you can see it. What I want you to do is go down here to, ah, no, don't do that first. Go up here to plot one, right here, plot one. Hit your arrow up key and hit enter and then come down. Notice what that did. That highlighted plot one. Now, this is what I want you to do. I want you to follow the cursor here and I want you to push the zoom key. Now, don't push anything yet. Instead, push your down arrow key and go through, through the different possibilities. Ah, no, back one. Number nine, zoom stat. We're doing statistics right now, so I want zoom stat. I'm going to hit enter there at zoom stat. These are your data points. This is 0, 494.1. This is 1, 679.8. 2, 790.1. 3, 935.0, and so on. This is called a scatter plot. When you have points, we call them data points when we're dealing with regressions. When you have data points that are not connected with a line, you have a scatter plot. The purpose of finding your regression equation is to get a line that will be a good approximation of where those dots are. Notice you can see that they kind of sort of, not perfectly, but they kind of fall, upon a, fall along a straight line. That means you've got a good correlation going there, a good correlation. They're related. The year and the number of internet users is related. All right, now we want to predict the future. So we need to actually have the line in y equals. I'm going to go back to y equals, and I'm going to make sure my cursor is blinking beside y1. Now, I want you to go to vars and push the vars key. Now, what we need to do is statistics. Notice statistics is here at number 5, so push the 5 key. Excellent. Now, I'm going to go over to EQ, push my right arrow key over to EQ. Now, on my calculator, Reg EQ is right there at number one. But I've seen some people with calculators where Reg EQ is down at the bottom. So look for Reg EQ, and wherever Reg EQ is, hit Enter. You have now entered your equation into Y1. And if you don't believe me, use your left arrow key and go to the very beginning. There it is, 146.9511, one, one, blah, 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 blah. There's the X, plus 499.21, no, 23333, and then a bunch of threes. That's the actual regression equation that we came up with. Now, push graph. Is that cool? That is just so cool. 
our regression equation almost perfectly matches our dots. It won't, uh, regression equations never really perfectly match. But this is really good. Now, okay, we're being asked to do something. Look at part B. Well, first, pause, write down your keystrokes. I'll be here. All right, when you've come back, look at B. Using the function found in part A, estimate the number of world internet users in 2012 and in 2015. Well, we're just going to do 2012. Now, remember that 2001 is year 0, 2002 is year 1, 2003 is year 2. So what year will 2012 be? It'll be year 11. Now, notice that this was 0 to 7. That's as far to the right as our graph goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight. It doesn't go all the way to 11. We're going to have to change the window. All right, so I am going to push the button that says window. Now, I need for my x max to be at least 11. So let's make it 12 so I can see a little bit beyond 11. So I'm going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to arrow down and I'm going to push 11. Notice that the 11 changes the whatever it was, 7.7. .7. Also, I am guessing that since this arrow keeps going up and up and up, that um, I w probably the numbers in y max are going to keep getting bigger. I have no idea how much. All right, I really don't. So I am just going to change it to a bigger number. Um, how about 2,500? That'll make it a little bit bigger. So I come down here. You know, and I could be wrong, and the world will not end if I'm wrong. 2,500. Okay. Trust me, stay with me here. Now, I'm going to hit graph again. See, and we've continued on up, we've continued to the right, and we've continued on up. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to find out if x is 11, what is y? All right, if the year is year 11, which is 2012, what is what are the number of internet users? Now, if you're back in 2007, you're predicting the future for yourself. You're guessing. Maybe you're a, I just hit my microphone, sorry. Maybe you're a business person and you make internet stuff and you need to know about how many worldwide internet users there are going to be. It's important to your profits. All right, so this is actually important to you back in 2007 to look ahead. So we're going to do this. Follow the cursor. I want you to push the second key. And now come up here to the buttons underneath and push the trace key. This gives you your calculate menu. And what I need to do is for year 11, I need to find the value in this table. So I'm going to choose 1 or hit enter there at 1. Now it's saying, OK, x equals what? Well, I want x equals 11 for the year. So I'm going to type in 11. Boom, boom. There you go. I'm going to hit enter. And there we go. The number we get is 2115.6964 and I'm sure it goes on forever and ever. All right, but the answer is going to be 2.15.7. 
Notice how all of these are rounded to one decimal place. Now, does that mean there are going to be 2,115 worldwide Internet users? No, there are going to be 2,115 million. That is, there are going to be over 2 billion Internet users. Or, well, from the future, looking from 2007, you say to yourself, wow, there are going to be 2,115,000,000.7 Internet users worldwide. I'm going to build my app or something like that. That's what we're doing, and that would be the answer you're looking for. And you would go through the whole process again if you were looking for how many Internet users there would be in 2015. Okay, this is what we're going to be doing in class. And uh, we'll play with it here a few times as well. And you probably just saw my dog get up and jump off the bed. That was Black Lab Ayla. And um, Blazy, oops, I did it again. I'm sorry. Blazy, again, is laying behind me. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.